Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Kids. So today we're going to be looking at just a little bit of arithmetic and a little bit of math, so let's not be scared. Um, now often people are going to assume that math and programming are the same thing. Now that's very close. It's very helpful to have a knowledge of programming and a knowledge of math. They both complement each other quite nicely. Um, but we're going to cover just some of the basics, okay? So a couple things that you'll kind of need to know how to do, all right, is uh, some addition, some subtraction, uh, some multiplication, and maybe some uh, division. And we also have in here um, the assignment operator, which is the equal sign. Okay, so these these guys are going to be our, uh, our our friends uh, for most of uh, the rest of our lives. Okay, so first off, let's maybe go on and. Um, have a little bit of fun creating up just a, a nice little plot here. Uh, so first let's do something like, let's set up some variables. So, cause we learned that last time. So we'll do var x is equal to 25, uh, var h is equal to 20, uh, var y is equal to 25. Okay, and so you can think about this as r X coordinate, our Y coordinate, and then our height. Okay, because uh, we'll make some some nice uh, boxes over here. Okay, uh, and then the next thing that we're going to want to do is, and I'm going to go on and delete those. Uh, we want to create a couple things. Um, so let's do X is equal to 20. Okay, now notice here we've already instantiated the variables, we've created the variables, so then if we want to reassign, it's not going to hurt us any, okay? Um, but we don't have to use that var here. Um, so next thing that we'll want to do is do something like uh, rect for rectangle x, y, um, uh, let's do 300 and h, okay? And this will be um, our top, and I'm going to go on and hit play. Okay, uh, and then let's go on and you know what, I'm going to put that there so that I have a little bit of space and I want to remove that. All right, and then the next thing that we'll do is we'll do something like x is equal to x plus 100. Okay, so we're going to be updating this um, x interval here. Okay, so we're wanting to move everything over. Um, and we'll do something like, um, Rect, and again we'll do x, y, plus h. Uh, we'll do maybe 300 again, h, okay? And this will be our, uh, our middle. And we'll do something like x is equal to x minus uh, 250. Uh, and then we'll have another rectangle here. We'll do rect x, y, plus h multiplied by 2, 300. I probably should have made another um, variable for that 300 because we've written it a couple times. And this will be the bottom. So you can see that we created up a nice little uh, couple blocks here all moved around basically using math. And we'll, and we'll use these later on, these types of things to collect, make something tumble across the screen or anything else, all right? And so we've seen that we can use in here a lot of math, okay? So we've used uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication. We didn't really use any division. Um, but again, we can, we can do all sorts of things with this. So uh, we can even basically use uh, JavaScript as a calculator. So if we want to do something like um, console.log, and we'll do something like 2 plus 4, okay? We get 6. And uh, again, this was, this, since this is a draw function, it basically keeps repeating until I change something. And I can maybe add in 400, all right? And then notice now it's 402. And it starts rotating through, and we can do 550, and then it'll uh, reset, and then notice it just keeps giving us 550. We can use it as all kinds of things. Even we can put in um, multiplication, and there we get 1,100, okay? Or we can add in division, we get a nice small number, okay? So again, we can do all of these things with it. We can basically use this as a nice calculator. Now, there are a couple things that we can do as well. 
um, that are very helpful to us. And we can do something like, um, uh, let me, let me actually do this. Let me comment basically all of this out. Okay, and I'm going to use this uh, up here to console.log, and I'll move this up here. Okay, uh, and so what we can do in here is let's say, notice here, we do have our, our x, okay, um, is equal to um, 25, our h is equal to uh, 20, our y is equal to 25. Now, so if I do x here, let it run, it's 25, okay? Now I can do a couple different things. We have some really nice, uh, useful steps. So a lot of times, we're, it's very common for us to want to add one to something or subtract one from something to help us do counting. Okay, so if I do plus plus, whoops, excuse me. Let's try that again now. Um, oh, you know what, in here, I need to do uh, console.log x. There we go. So what will happen here is if I, actually I can get rid of this now so we don't see it. Um, but this basically is equal to x is equal to x plus one. Okay, so then anytime this runs, it will go to 26. Okay, so x is 25. Now we could also do something like um, x minus minus, and I will comment this one out. And we get 24. So this would be basically equal to x is equal to x minus 1. Okay, so and that's a very useful thing. It's a very shorthand notation for adding one or subtracting one. And we also have some very useful items as well. So we can do something like, uh, let me comment this out. And we can do x and do, uh, let's say, plus equal 10. Oh, and that now console logs out 35 because this now is going to be something like x is equal to x plus 10. Now, conversely, okay, we can do x minus equal 10. Okay. Oh, and I need to comment this one out. And this is x is equal to x minus 10. Okay, so these are these are common little shorthands. Okay, if you feel more comfortable using this longer notation, feel free to throughout the series. Okay, no one's gonna uh, belittle you for it. You just got to uh, be able to uh, just remember. Okay, now one last thing that we're going to talk about, and that's uh, uh, PEMDAS. Okay, so that is the order of operations. Okay, so let me um, put this here. Okay, and um, PEMDAS, okay, so this is, uh, this is the order of operations. Okay, so this is what? Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, Uh, division, uh, addition, subtraction. Oh, um, and so here again, you can see is PEMDAS. Okay, um, so these are things that um, we need to make sure that we know the order of operations are. Um, there are more uh, things that we need to know about order of operations when it comes to programming and stuff. There's actually quite a big list of things that we need to look into. But for, uh, for this series, again, since this is for our uh, data science for kids, this is JavaScript for kids, here uh, we are going to only stick with our PEMDAS, okay? So um, just remember these uh, nice little math facts and it will be very useful to you guys. So remember, if you like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.